This is a short video. It's one of those things that um, I've been in the right place at the right time and it's about lowering one of those tall wind cropping turbines. I think they're 15 meters with a third of a ton turbine on the top of them. So you know, fairly bit of engineering to lower it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Now then, we've got this turbine here. Huh? It's a uh, it's grid connected, five kilowatt, and they're just going to lower it just for maintenance. If you see, there's a triangular base, and those those triangular poles they're screwed into the ground. There's no concrete involved. And it's quite, it's 15 metres and it will be just interesting to see how they lower it and just there is a pivot so it will be, I'm inter I assume it will pivot to our left How are you doing then? Not too bad yourself? I think so. Which is, which is right. Part, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, so we can take the heads off the gun off the head and take them with the tractor or whatever. This then will be done. Right. Yeah. Next stage yeah. would be, again, depends what you want to do. Interesting because we've got a hydraulic system here. Yeah. What's that? A five horsepower? Petrol engine, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And you just put a ram on the bottom there. Uh, tur a turfer. A turfer. Turfer with a pulley system. Right. Good lord. Because that's that is a lot of force when that's three quarters of the way over, isn't it? There's on the top. I calculated out. There's about sixty-five tons. Yes. Uh, it, accounting for the leverage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got some twenty mil cable there. Wow, this is all very interesting. So we've got a five ton turfer there, and apparently it's hydraulically operated. And that's that cable. It looks like either a 20 or a 22 mil cable. 20, I think. 20. Wow. But as we've said, there's a lot of force when this, uh, when this ta tower gets fairly well over. Right, they got the security pins out and they just have to ease it over centre. As you'll see here, this blue winch, they're just lowering that blue winch. She's going timber, not quite I hope. They just got to leave a bit of room then to get this big hydraulic turfer in there. This is one of those opportunities where um, once in a lifetime, unless you're part of the crew, to watch this going on. So now they're just removing the winch that actually started the, it to pull it over centre. And the weight will start coming onto that soon. And that is a three ton strop on there. I'm just going to reposition the camera. So it's going, yeah. As you imagine, there's a th the, the turbine head itself is three quarter, a third of a ton. Yeah, so a third of the ton over 15 meters. That's quite a lot of leverage. And uh, obviously it's brave guys, or they're very used to what they're doing, 
fiddling around at the bottom of what effectively is a trebuchet. Right. Well, thank goodness that started. Right, I just got to move the camera again. But just in the background there, you can see the hydraulic arm. There we go. Ah, oh. that's just moving that turfer slowly and it looks like that's the speed regulator there you can see it just moving backwards and forwards and they can stand out the way and down it comes that's amazing I hope it doesn't run out of fuel. There's a little cough on that engine then. Let's move the camera back some more. Here we go. It's how you want it though. Steady slow so just looking there now we can see there's that, uh, what I believe to be a five ton turfer, hydraulically operated, and it's through a snatch block, so that doubles up the, the power, so that's 10 tons there. We've got a bit of a breeze coming up, which is a bit of a pain for the camera, but it's when this, starts to get nearer the horizontal that uh, the full stress goes on that cable but those guys don't look concerned though I don't think I would be standing there especially with that steel cable like that So it's coming down. Bit of a cough from that uh, that engine then. I'm assuming they're going to stop it before the blades touch the ground. That was fairly peaceful though. Now you can see the size of that generator. It's a fair old beast. Just trying to lower it as much as possible. That's it. Well done, lads. But can you see the the line of that cable now? Yeah. So yeah. The closer it gets to horizontal, the more stress on that cable. But that's grand. Uh, probably. Okay. 
<laughs> Four foot at least. Yeah. It, and if you had bad soil when they were putting it in, they might have put another one on top. Right. Yeah. Five foot. I would guess in the five foot. Because they don't have any on anything. No, they probably didn't have put it in. Yeah, that's gone below five foot. No. Yeah. 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 job repiled and it was thousands of so I hope you found that interesting let's have some comments see what you have to say about it that whole thing about uh, where are we as there we go there's the cable and there's the the um, turbine tower and as that angle gets tighter and tighter then you, know, you need quite a lot of extension for a small amount of movement so all the gearing and the loading changes dramatically from straight 90 degrees and it's just moving like that when it starts to move like that a small amount on the cable moves a long way anyway let's hear what you have to say and um, I will catch up with you very soon Cheers for now.